Okay, here's how to make a pretty close 303 emulator in caustic, if after 36 years you're still interested in that sound. It's not going to be the bass line that is inspired by the 303 and has the same knobs and interface, but rather we're going to do this with the subsynth. Bring the first oscillator to a high quality square and the second to a sine wave. Change the modulation to pulse width and bring it to about 9 o'clock. It's a very precise value that gets the 303 sound, so you might have to tinker with it a little bit. Add a filter, low pass, high resonance, and LFO the filter a bit. Bring on some reverb and delay, since they are used so often, just to see how it sounds with that. There you have it, your 303 emulator. You can hear that it's not actually a perfect square. It's like a square and a sawtooth mixed. It's like it has a sawtooth harmonic. Listen. That's what makes it so juicy. And... So a pure square, we would sound like this. If we turn this down, there's your pure square, and that sounds nothing like a 303. But bring this up to about 9 o'clock. There we can hear it even better with a low LFO rate. Here's your different kind of envelopes. That's pretty close, right? That sounds like a 303. The low end doesn't, but the high is. I mean, of the cutoff, not the note. There you have it, your 303 emulator with caustic substance. Enjoy.